Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the nature roots of a quadratic equation. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. The nature roots of an equation refers to the solution of that equation. Take for example, a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. To find x, we are going to use the quadratic formula, which states that x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The value of the b squared minus 4ac that we have here establishes the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. That is, we represent it using the discriminant or delta that is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So anytime you have a quadratic equation and you want to find or determine what the nature of the root is, you just need to find the discriminant, which can be found by using the formula b squared minus 4ac, the formula under your root. Let's look at the various scenarios we can have. One, if we have a negative number, under our root. Let's say you have a negative number under the root sign. This means that the value of your discriminant or your delta is less than zero. That means the nature of the root will be non-real or imaginary. For example, if I have the square root of minus 25, you can double check that by using your calculator. You're going to have math error, or you find the square root of minus 5, any negative number, it's going to give you a non-real number. The second scenario is if we have a perfect square under your root. Perfect square. That simply means that your discriminant is greater than zero, meaning the value you get for b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, and therefore the nature of the roots will be real or, or and it will be a rational number. For example, if you find the square root of 4, that will give you 2. If you find the square root of 100, that will give you 10. The third case is if you have a non-perfect square under your root, the value of your discriminant or your delta will still be greater than zero. However, it's going to give you a real number, but it will be an irrational number. For example, if you find the square root of 3, you're going to have 1.732, etc. The last case is if you have zero under your root, meaning when you calculate b squared minus 4ac, it gives you zero. This means that your data, your discriminant is zero. Your, the nature of your root is going to be real, but or and equal. Let's summarize this in the table below. Using the table below, I have four columns. The first column will tell us the nature of root. The data, the second column, will tell us the value of our discriminant. Then the third and the fourth column will tell us the graph we will have depending on what the value of our A is in our quadratic equation. If A is greater than zero, the graph is different from if A is less than zero. So in the first case, if a discriminant or a b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we're going to have a non-real number or imaginary. If the value of a is greater than zero, our graph is going to be this way. This is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. And if 
the value of a is less than zero, a graph is going to be below the y-axis. If a discriminant is equal to zero, like we explained in the previous page, then the nature of roots is going to be real and equal. A graph for A is greater than zero is going to be skewed to the right hand side. This is our y axis, this is our x axis. And if the value of your A is less than zero, it's going to be this way. This is our x axis and y axis. Note that the graph is touching the y axis. The x-axis for a is greater than 0 and a is less than 0. In the third scenario, where we have the value of a discriminant greater than 0, that means it's going to be real and unequal. However, we have two cases. If it's a perfect square, it's greater than 0, but it's a perfect square. For example, if you have square root of 4, square root of 100, then we say it's rational. And if data is greater than 0, but it's not a perfect square, then we say it's irrational. The graph for A greater than 0 is going to be this way. This is going through the origin. We have our x and y axis respectively. And if it's less than zero, we have our x and y axis. It's still going to go through the origin. We have our y axis and our x axis. Let's look at a practical example. This example says, what is the nature of root of the quadratic equation x squared? We have x squared plus 3x plus 4 equals to 0. In this example, we know that our a is 1, our b is 3, and our constant c is 4. Using the quadratic formula, we have x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If we slot that in, we have x equals minus b, that's minus 3, plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 3 squared, minus 4 times 1, a times c, 4, all over 2a, 2 times 1. This will give us x equals minus 3 plus or minus 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 4, 16. That will give us minus 7 all over 2. If you check the value under the roots, remember our discriminant data is a b squared minus 4ac, which is the value under the roots. And what we're having here is minus 7. So b squared minus 4ac is equals to minus 7. And we, from our table, we know that if a discriminant is less than zero, then the nature of root is going to be non-real. So for this question, the nature of root is non-real because a discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Thanks for watching. Bye.